Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy, weather rates certified 11 years in a row. Good morning, Utah. Happy Friday. The time is currently 615. Also, happy Cinco de Mayo. We'll begin with our weather headlines, which include the ongoing flood concerns. We're still going to have active skies. We won't see quite as much wet weather today compared to what we saw yesterday, but still a pretty decent chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms once we get into this afternoon and evening. Those winds will continue to be quite strong. Again, not going to be quite as strong compared to yesterday, but we'll still likely see widespread wind gusts over 20 to 30 miles per hour, and temperatures will either be near or below our seasonal averages over the next several days. So we'll talk about the forecast in just a moment, but let's go ahead and start off with our ongoing flood concerns right here. I have highlighted all the river flood watches, warnings and advisories in Utah, where the Ogden River, the Severe River and the Dolores River are still in river flood warnings, mainly expecting minor flooding, but the Dolores River in Grand County still experiencing mo moderate flooding, while the Green River near Jensen above action stage where we have a flood advisory and we have the flood watch for the Weber River near Plain City, which is also above action stage and the Blacksmith Fork near the Hiram Dam. We have that flood watch for Cache Valley and we still have above action stage when it comes to the waterway there, so still keeping a very close eye on all of our waterways, but there is a little bit of good news, and that's because we're seeing those cooler temperatures move in that should help ease the flow of our rivers, creeks and streams by the time we get into this upcoming weekend. But keep in mind, they will still be running high, fast, cold and extremely dangerous. You still want to keep your safe distance away from those fast moving waterways. Stay up to date and avoid the slot canyons. We'll continue to keep you posted on on, on all of our flood concerns on air, online and also through social media. Now on the satellite and radar transitioning to our weather, we saw the cooler temperatures move in yesterday. High pressure has completely moved out of the way and we saw energy move in from the upper level low pressure that's still sitting to our southwest and as we go throughout the next couple of days that will continue to send en energy our way and we do have another system coming in from the west which will keep our weather pattern active not only as we go throughout this weekend but possibly through the first half of next week as well. But for today, we'll have that chance for some additional showers and thunderstorms. The best chance for showers and thunderstorms will generally be in the central and the northern half of the state, but there will still be at least a slight chance in southwestern Utah, not as high of a chance if you're in the southeastern portion of the state. So maybe about a 10 to 20 percent chance, but can't be completely discounted. Not expecting any severe weather, but a few strong thunderstorms can't be completely ruled out once we get from this afternoon into this evening. In the meantime, just starting off with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, but an absolutely beautiful view starting off from Deer Valley as we're awaiting the sunrise on this early Friday morning. Then as we make our way down to southern Utah, the view from Glen Canyon near Lake Powell, also a very pretty start to the morning. A good, good amount of cloud coverage, really, no matter where you're waking up across the state this morning. Temperatures ranging anywhere from the 40s and 50s for most, but if you're waking up in Park City and down in Cedar City, you're waking up with temperatures in the 30. So you're either going to want the jacket or you're going to want the sweater as you head out the door this morning. And then for this afternoon, daytime highs will be very close to where we should be for this time of year in northern Utah, while daytime highs will actually come in below our seasonal averages down south. So northern Utah daytime highs ranging anywhere from the 40s to the 60s, generally 50s and 60s down in central Utah. And for southern Utah, high of 69 in St. George, 67 in Lake Powell. And we'll see a daytime high of 56 degrees in Monticello. Now, as we begin the future cast, you can see by midday today, we'll start to see those showers and thunderstorms begin to develop, mainly favoring the high country through the early portion of the day. But then it's those isolated showers and thunderstorms from this afternoon into this evening. By tonight, the chance for wet weather will begin to go down a little bit, but then that chance ramps up going into our Saturday. So we're going to hold on to that chance for wet weather. And by Saturday, that best chance will generally be in northern Utah, while southern Utah looks to stay mostly dry. But you can see that in northern Utah, the chance for wet weather will be sticking around maybe a little bit of a break on Tuesday. But that wet weather potential could actually ramp back up as we get into the middle of next week. As for St. George, a slight chance for today, but looking mostly dry down in St. George. Now, Cedar City could see a few showers for our Saturday, but daytime highs with those drier conditions will begin to warm up. Should be back in the lower 80s by Monday into Tuesday. Then along the Wasatch Front, daytime highs kind of settle in the 60s with overnight lows in the 40s. Isolated showers and thunderstorms today. Scattered thunderstorms for our Saturday and holding on, holding on to the chance for showers to end this upcoming weekend.